Hey all and welcome back to Fuzzy Duxy Gaming and a quick video on how to create custom loot filters in Filter Blade. Now we're going to build the filter as we go along in this video so feel free to go into Filter Blade and go along with me if you want to. Essentially the video starts at the main homepage of Filter Blade. So it's www.filterblade.xyz so we'll load that up on the browser and then we'll dive in. So we've come into the homepage of Filter Blade. There's really only two things to pay attention to here, and that's compare strictness and compare styles. If you click on compare strictness, it shows you what each strictness will drop out of the filter. So as you can see from soft, it's basically everything. As you go up to uber plus strip, it basically pulls out any sort of leveling currency. For the purpose of a league starter build, semi-strict works really well just as a base to start with. And then if you compare styles, it shows you the different colors of items depending on each style. Because we're going to be changing the color on items, I want quite a plain base, so we're going to go with Elder. So before we go in to start building this filter, I just want to show you the simulate page here. What this does is whatever rules you've got on your loot filter, this will replicate it. So if you generate loot, it will create a loot explosion based on your filter. and You put in the zone level that you're in. So level 12 would be sort of Merval's Caverns at the end of Act 1. And this is what you can expect to drop from a big loot explosion. As you can see, it includes a lot of items, most of which for your build, you're probably not interested in. So the filter that I've set up and I'm going to go through is for a caster that uses mainly blue gems. You can really use the tips you get today to build any kind of filter. You would just change some of the customization. But I just wanted to show you quickly um, the simulate button. Because what we're going to do is come back and use this button again when we've built the filter. So to start changing your loot filter, you're going to want to go into customize. Now there's so many different things that you can change. But essentially for the leveling filter, most of the stuff we do is within this below 65. I'm going to make one change to currency. And that's just going to be in the leveling specific rules. All I'm going to do is add more stuff into this top group. To help me with my wand recipe so i'm basically going to add in anything that makes an item rare and anything that can be used for that recipe so if you start with orb of alteration we'll add those in because we need those as part of our recipe we're also going to add in orb of alchemy and then we're going to add in orb of binding so these are the five important currencies for this build while leveling now while we're in this section you can see this s thing here is ticked what that means is that this spot that then appears on here is also going to show on your minimap. So if these items drop, you're also going to see an indicator on your minimap. You can also add a sound, which we're going to do. Now you might not see the drop downs because of the way my capture card works, but basically you're going to go normal and two, and it's just a simple drop sound. And then we're just going to change the colors on these so that it really stands out when the item drops. And they're the only changes I'm going to make to currency while I'm leveling because it's really all I'm interested in. So we'll close currency down and then we'll come down to the leveling section and we'll talk you through what happens here. Essentially, this is probably the most important one because it basically adds or hides certain items. So ignore the first one. We're not interested in highlighting individual bases, but we are interested in highlighting by type. Now, because we're going energy shield, we're basically interested in anything that contains energy shield on it. So it'd be flat energy shield and then the two hybrids. However, because my main links are all blues, energy shield is actually more valuable. So we're going to pull that out of this one and we're going to come back to it. I'm also not interested in seeing shields. Now, I use this highlight by armor type to set up my four link filter. So I'm basically saying show these items when they are four or more links. And then I'm going to put in some custom colors so I can really see these items when they drop. So let's do something like this. And then we'll do black and black just so it's not too garish. So that already looks different on the ground. I'm again going to add an icon in for it on the minimap. We'll make it different. We'll do this one a hexagon and we will do it pink. So essentially that's what the item's going to be. We're going to add in that same drop sound that we had for our currency. And this is now our item finished. So what we're saying is any item that's four links or more that is 
Energy Shield Hybrid Base, show me it. Then we're just going to go add rule and then we're going to go and set the one up for our Energy Shield one. So essentially we're doing exactly the same but we're just interested in Energy Shield bases. And again we're doing four or more links. So again I want this one to stand out differently to the others so we're just going to go in and add some colours. We're going to add another icon in. We're going to change the colour so that it's going to be red. And then we're going to add a sound in. Now because this is the item that we're really looking for to make our build early on, I'm going to be silly and add a community sound. That's good, right? Holy fucking shit. So now 100% I'm not going to miss when that drops because Brittany is basically swearing at me. So there we go, we've got our energy shield, four link items all set up and ready to go on the filter. So we'll hide highlight items by armor type and we're going to go in to highlight items by slot. This is really just for me to be able to identify rare weapons that I might be able to use. You can use these rules for anything, but I tend just to like to pull out the weapons. If you wanted to, you could add rings, belts and amulets in there because they are also really useful. So we'll add them in for now, why not? And again, I just want them to be a slightly different colour than everything else. So we'll make these purple and we'll do the text white just so it really stands out. And then we'll do the border black. I'm not going to bother with icons or sounds for these. I just want them to show up slightly differently to the other items. And I'm really only interested in these when they're rare. So we're going to go rarity greater than or equal to rare. Now we're going to move on to hide items by armour type. Now you will get some parts of your build that aren't going to be blue gems. Now on the build I've got, there's nothing where I need four red or four green sockets. So these armor types that I've said to show will basically cover me. However, if you do need something that's for red, for example, you're going to want to show armor versions of this. You may want to set up a different rule um, just to color it slightly different because it's not, it's not going to be our main falling, but it is a falling that you're looking for. But for this build, the items I'm showing cover me for everything. So we're then going to go back to hide items by armor type. This is the next section. Basically, we're going to do the opposite of what we've done here. So we're going to tick evasion, evasion armor and armor. Going to leave boots for movement speed. And basically say if any of this stuff drops and it's less than or equal to magic, then hide it. I still want the option of picking up rare items. So we're now going to go into hide items by slot. And this is where we're going to get rid of all of the stuff that we don't want to see. And this is really what clutters up the ground a lot of the time. So basically because we've set up rules for rare items and we've set up rules for the links we need, we can actually hide pretty much everything. So we're going to say hide everything. I'm going to keep ones in just for recipes. I'm going to keep boots in just for movement speed. I'm going to keep amulets in and I'm going to keep rings in. But essentially, we're saying I don't want to see anything that's less than rare. And that is really all we need to do with this section. This just cuts out all the rubbish that we don't want to see. Feel free to tick belts in if you want to see belts. It's totally up to you. But this is how we hide all the stuff we don't want to see. And then we're going to go down and we're going to look at the colors and links because this is the last bit that we're going to do. We've already covered our four link gear. Socket groups you can look at which is essentially giving it specific colors. So you could add things in because you might get four blues drop on a random base. You could do that if you wanted to. But we'll go into the three link gear. And all this is doing is saying at these levels at the moment, so 1 to 24 and area level 15 and under, it's going to show you every single three link that drops. We don't want that. We also really are looking for just specific colors. And that's because early on, you're not really going to have chromatics to spare to recolor. So we'll firstly put in the socket colors that we're looking for. And for this, I know I can use blue, 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 red. And I can also use blue, blue, green early on. Now you can make these different. So in the under 15, you might want to include a bit more. In this one, you might want to include a bit less. Just for the purpose of this video, we're going to do them all the same. Okay, so we've set our sockets up. We're also now just going to remove everything we don't want to see because there's no point a three-link drop-in with the right colors if it's an item that we can't use. So again, 
we're going to go through and just drop out stuff that we're not going to use. And again, we'll just duplicate it here. And this again is going to really make it easier to see your items when you're leveling up because you do get quite a few three links drop, but most of the time, the majority of them are not usable. So there we go. We've now set that up and this part of the filter is good to go. The only thing I will do is I find the background on this a bit non-distinct. So I'm going to go and put it red just to make it really clear that these are three links, but I don't want to really change anything else about the item. It's nothing mega. It's just, it's just a three link. So we'll put those colors on there. And essentially that covers off the loop filter. So then the last thing to cover off now is what to do once you finish your loop filter. Essentially you've got two options. You can sync your filter up with PoE. So you can click here, it will take you to Path of Exile. You log in and then you can sync it with Path of Exile. I always have difficulty to do it for some reason. It may be me being dumb or it just me that be the combination between the two. So I just save them locally here. So we'll just save this filter, do apply. And that's then available for me whenever I go into Filter Blade, I can load it, I can change it, edit it and save over the top of it. And then to get our filter into game, we go to download, we name the filter. So we'll just call it whatever you like. You'll click download here. And what it says, it will bring up a message saying it contains custom sounds because you've added sounds in. You click OK on that to download the file with the sound and it will do you a zip file that you need to unpack. If you've already got the sounds, you can press cancel and it will just download the filter. So I already have these sounds, so I'm going to press cancel. And that is now downloaded into my download folder. The only thing we need to then do is copy any sound files and the filter file across to this path here. So it'll be documents, my games, path of exile. If you've moved that, then it will be wherever you've moved the file to. And then essentially, once you get into game, you go into options and UI. And one of the first options at the top is loop filters. You click on the arrow and all your loop filters either sync to your account or saved in that folder will show up. You just select the loop filter, click OK, and then you're ready to go. And that really covers everything I wanted to cover for just building a quick custom loop filter. I hope it helped. If this sort of content is useful and you found it enjoyable and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click notifications just to be made aware when I've got new content available. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.